Thanks for inviting us in on your Friday night. It is 11 o'clock and Earth Day is coming to a close, but that's no reason to stop talking about the impact we have on our world. Every year, about 8 million tons of plastic waste escapes into our oceans. That's the equivalent of setting five full garbage bags on every foot of coastline around the world. And things are only projected to get worse. Half of all plastics ever made were produced during the last 15 years. And production is increasing exponentially, likely to double by the year 2050. So tonight we want to take a look at what local Hoosiers are doing right now to minimize the impact from the do's and don'ts for recycling here in Indy to an Indiana school looking to create a more eco-conscious cafeteria, plus a local store focused on offering zero waste options. Our Rachel Kraus kicks off tonight's big story. It's the perfect day to make a sustainable swap. Inside the AMP at 16 Tech. Have you heard of a refillery before? The sustainery owners Lacey Brown and Heather Nally teach the community all about zero waste living. Rather than buying them in single use plastic over and over, you buy a glass container that's refillable. Okay. So nothing ends up in a landfill. They launched their low waste business at the end of February, hoping to help Hoosiers cut down on these single use products and trash they toss out. We were shopping around in Heather's hometown of Evansville and we stumbled into a refillery and fell in love with it and thought Indy needs this. According to the EPA, Americans throw out on average more than four pounds of trash a day. Much of that coming from single use items, especially plastic. While some items can be recycled, much of what we toss out cannot. Filling up landfills instead. That's why Heather and Lacey are hoping to help indie residents cut down. If your tub is overflowing, you don't run and get the mop first, you turn off the tap. Uh, and I think that's kind of what a refillery does in the stream of trash. Just kind of cut it, out at, cut it off at the source. Um, so it never ends up in the landfill. Offering sustainable versions of those everyday items you're already using. These are just wool balls. You throw them in the dryer. They separate oh. your clothes so they actually dry faster. Meeting customers at pop-up markets like this one or home deliveries dropping off orders. They're already seeing people make the sustainable switch. It's been really exciting. We're glad that Indy's having such a positive response. Anything else we can get for you? For people ready to cut down on how much they toss out, Lacey says. Just take it one step at a time. Maybe do what's called a trash audit. See what you're throwing away most often and start with that product. Hopeful that by accessing low and zero waste items more easily, they can help Indy start to cut back on waste. Thank you so much. You. Have a good rest of your day. <laughs> Anytime we talk about protecting the earth, we always mention recycling. But do you know the rules about what you can and cannot recycle? Indianapolis uses Republic Services for its recycling and allows all colors of glass. Plastics one and two in bottle or jug form. Aluminum, tin, or steel beverage and food cans. Newspapers, cardboard, paper, and magazines. What you find, unfortunately, is that typically people waste more than they recycle. That's not to say that people are generating more trash. It's just that people maybe aren't making a conscious effort to recycle because a decent amount of what gets thrown away is actually still good recyclable material. Beyond people not recycling, the other main issue facing these companies is when people try to recycle the wrong thing. Throwing the wrong thing in the bin is, is a twofold problem. One is that it can hinder the process itself. It can slow things down. It can jam machinery, stop it all together. But on the other side, we may lose good recyclables in the process. Republic Services says even leftover juice that spills on paper or cardboard can ruin its chances at being recycled. Local schools are working to reduce global waste by creating conscious cafeterias. An event today at the Orchard School highlighted some of the efforts underway. The Patichu Foundation is working with schools to bring back sustainable scratch cooking. The Orchard School also started its own garden, teaching kids how to protect the planet and be more resourceful with food. They've also partnered with local business Ahimsa to replace plastic trays with stainless steel ones to reduce single-use waste. 
and we know that our food system is a big source of waste and big source of kind of ne negative health exposure for kids, so kind of the chemicals in either plastic or processed foods. So it's really a great place to start because there are so many things that we can actually do to improve the lives of both children's health and, you know, environmental health. And it's not just an idea catching adults' attention. Kids at the Orchard School today gave the idea a big thumbs up. You just drink out of it like, oh, I'm drinking out of it. And then, um, oh, this is stainless steel, so I don't have to recycle it. So I could just do this. I could just wash it. So you could just wash it and you reuse it again. It's awesome. Just wash it and reuse it again. <laughs> Love that. It is awesome. And today, IMS also announced its plans to make the track and the big events it hosts more sustainable. The Indianapolis Motor Speedway is now expanding recycling efforts and food recovery programs. Plus, Legends is opening up a fully sustainable store where everything is reused or designed from recycled plastic bottles. The track also announced new plans for eco-friendly tires from Firestone. We've got details on that posted now at WTHR.com. And that wraps up tonight's big story.